On July 22, 2022, the Calgary Flames and Florida Panthers pulled off what might be the biggest trade of the past decade. The Florida Panthers acquired Matthew Kachuk and a conditional fourth-round pick. The Calgary Flames acquired Jonathan Huberdeau, Mackenzie Wieger, a conditional 2025 first-round pick, and prospect Cole Schwint. What the Florida Panthers got in Matthew Kachuk is, quite frankly, a unicorn of a superstar forward. Kachuk, only 24 years old, scored 42 goals last season and totaled 104 points for the Flames. He's an incredible player at both ends of the ice, as both JFresh and Dom LeCision's analytical charts place him as one of the league's very best defensive forwards. He also has a reputation for being tough to play against, bringing big hits and fights to his game. As part of the trade, Kachuk also signed an 8-year extension with the Panthers, coming in at an average annual value of $9.5 million. The Florida Panthers acquired an elite first-line forward and locked him up to an 8-year deal that is very team-friendly. What the Calgary Flames got in Jonathan Huberdeau is a pure offensive superstar. Huberdeau was joint second in the NHL in points last season, tied with former Flame Johnny Goudreau. He had 30 goals to go along with his league-leading 85 assists, six more apples than Connor McDavid. He doesn't have the defensive impact of Kachuk, but is a better scorer. Huberdeau should take Goudreau's place on the team's top line, playing alongside Elias Lindholm, who is more than capable of handling much of the defensive responsibilities. In Mackenzie Wieger, the Flames get a top pair defenseman who is excellent at both ends of the ice. Wieger played on the left side of Florida's top pair with Ekblad, and was arguably the better player of the two last season. He had a career-best 8 goals last year, and a career-best 44 points. Huberdeau and Wieger's contracts both expire in the 2022-23 offseason. Both Huberdeau and Wieger have yet to sign extensions that guarantee their futures as members of the Flames, but it is worth noting that Huberto had a modified no-trade clause prior to the deal. Seeing that the deal went through, it means that Calgary was not one of the teams Huberto was completely unwilling to play for. Over the course of the season, Calgary will be trying their best to get both Huberto and Uyghur to commit to long-term extensions. Forward Cole Schwint is a 21-year-old center who put up 40 points in 72 games last season in the AHL. He's a decent prospect that could crack Calgary's bottom six next season. The 2025 first-round pick provides additional value for Calgary, but it is top 10 protected and three drafts away. A nice piece for Calgary, but one that doesn't hurt Florida to lose. So, what does this move mean for Florida? Well, presumably, Florida thought that Huberto and Uyghur would not be willing to re-sign with them, or that they would, but the cost would be too high. In acquiring Kachuk, the Panthers pair one of the league's best two-way wingers in Kachuk with one of the league's best two-way centers in Barkov. Kachuk is locked into a great deal through 2030, which will take him into his early 30s. Bill Zito, Panthers GM, supposedly views Kachuk as a generational talent, and through that lens, the move makes more sense from Florida's perspective. Florida believes that they have added more high-end talent in this move, and that Kachuk will be the guy to help push them over the hump. What does this mean for Calgary? There was speculation that Calgary would be forced into a rebuild after losing both Kachuk and Goudreau. At this point, we can say that's clearly not the case. Acquiring two high-end players in Huberto and Uyghur signifies their intentions pretty clearly. The Flames must think that they can re-sign them, or that they can win a cup with their core group after making this move. Calgary believes that, in making this move, they have compensated for the losses of Kachuk and Goudreau and emerge from this offseason as still one of the top contenders in the West. Who won the trade? On paper, this looks like a clear and huge win for the Calgary Flames, acquiring two incredible talents and additional assets for a player everybody knew was pushing his way out of Calgary is incredible GM work from Brad Living. But, in the long term, the success of this trade for Calgary is dependent on an immense team success or the ability to re-sign the two players. If the Flames win the Cup this upcoming season, it doesn't even matter if Huberto and Uyghur walk. If the Flames re-sign Huberto to a reasonable deal, you can essentially call the trade a wash. 
If they both resign, it's a huge win for Calgary. But if Huberto walks, or they both walk, then in the long term, it's a huge win for Florida. Players of Kachuk's talents don't come around often in the NHL, and are essentially never available to be traded for. Ultimately, this trade puts a lot of pressure on the Panthers to win, and immense pressure on the Flames to both win and re-sign Huberdeau and Uyghur. The early verdict suggests that Calgary did an excellent job here, but don't be surprised if we have a whole different perspective on this trade in a year's time.